Okay, let's learn lesson five. The fact. Turn to page thirty and read after me the following words. Editor. Editor. Extreme. Extreme. Statistics. Statistics. Journalist. Journalist. President. President. Harris. Harris. Publish. Publish. Sex. Sex. Impatient. Impatient. Fire. Fire. Originally. Originally. Now let's learn the words. Editor. 编辑 Edit. E D I T. 及物动词编辑 Edit magazine. Edit newspaper. Edition. E D I T I O N. 名词编辑 Editorial. Editorial. E D I T O R I A L， 既是形容词，编辑的、主编的，也是名词，社论、评论 （editorial）。啊 ，next extreme， 极端。我们主要是用于短语 go to extreme， 走极端，做某事走极端 ，go to extremes to do something， 通常采用它的复数形式。Go to extremes to do something. For example, he went to extreme to say that the play was the best one. 他说这出戏是最好的，真是言过其实了。Now translate my sentence. 他说他的女朋友是世界上最漂亮的，真是有点言过其实。He went to extremes to say that his girlfriend was the most beautiful in the world. 如果同学们想表达从一个极端走向另一个极端 ，go from one extreme to the other. Go from one extreme to the other. Okay, next, journalist, 新闻记者。那么这个词汇主要是指杂志的记者 ，reporter， 电视台记者 ，correspondent。Can you spell the word according to my pronunciation? Correspondent. Okay. C O R R E S P O N D E N T. 电台记者，通讯员。Now read at me the three words once more. Journalist. Journalist, reporter, reporter, correspondent, correspondent.、Uh, next, publish, 出版 They have already published the magazine. 他们已经出版发行了这本杂志。那么它的同义词 print, p r i n t. Print， 及物动词。那么，如果我们用于这本杂志已经出版发行了，可以采用 publish 或 print， 但是一定要注意要采用被动语态。The book has already been published， 或直接表达为 go to press，p r e s s，go to press，go to press。不及物动词短语。So the book has gone to press. Okay, next facts. 传真，发一份传真。Send a fax. Impatient, 不耐烦的。注意这个词的构成。Patient, 有耐心的。Patiently, 有耐心的。Impatient, 不耐烦的。Impatiently.
，不耐烦背。那么其名词形式 patience and impatience。The next important word, fire. This is transitive verb. It's an informal word. 这是一个口语的用词，解雇。He was fired from his job. 他被解雇了。那么在正式的英语当中，我们常用 dismiss, d i s m i s s. The manager dismissed. Him from his company. The manager dismissed him from his company. 除了掌握 fire dismiss 两个用词而外，同时要要求大家把握住如何运用 sack, s a c k. 这是一个俚语，解雇、辞退、地道的口语表达方式。If you do it wrong again, you will be sacked. If you do it wrong again, you'll be sacked. 如果你再次做错，你就会被辞掉。Okay, next, originally, 起初，原先。Original, 去掉 ly， 是它的形容词形式。Okay, read after me. Original, original. So much for the words. Now it's our time to study the text. The facts, 确切数字 Editors of newspapers and magazines often go to extreme to provide their readers with unimportant facts and statistics. Go to extreme, 在词汇中我们刚刚学完，走极端 Provide their readers with unimportant facts and statistics. Provide means supply. S U P P L Y. 给什么提供？通常与介词搭配连用。我们主要注意两点 ：provide somebody with something, or provide something for somebody. For example, he provided them with a bed for the night. 他给他们提供了一张过夜的床 ，or he provided a bed for them for the night. 那么在这个语句当中，报刊杂志的编辑常常为了向读者提供一些无关紧要的事实和统计数字而走极端。Last year, a journalist had been instructed by a well-known magazine. To write an article on the president's palace in the new African Republic, instruct somebody to do something means tell somebody formally to do something. 正式的告知某人做某事 instruct somebody to do something. 那么在本句话当中，我们是采用了被动语态。那 answer me a question. Who instructed the journalist? 是谁正式通知这位记者呢 ？A well-known magazine. 是一家有名的杂志。Now change the passive voice into active one. 请同学们把本句变换成主动语态。A well-known magazine instructed a journalist to write an article. On the president's palace in the new African Republic. Now translate the sentence. 老师正式的通知他参加考试 The teacher instructed him to take the examination. On the president's palace, on means about, 有关于。那么如果用介词 on。它是侧重强调，课题更专一。一本关于无线电的书籍 ，a book on radio